if our next guest, who's been very patient, is ready, I think it's time for David to give a little introduction to a very special artist. Sure. I'd like to introduce to you guys, many of you already know him, artist extraordinaire, artist collector and fan, John Bellotti Jr. Yay! Hey, John. Hey, guys. Hey. Thank What's you up, so dude? much for going? joining us. Oh, how's the lighting? Do I look spooky? Oh, much better. Much, much better. better. Much well, better. Look at this. I can much do my better. hair now. Much better. <laughs> hey, John. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Oh, oh my God. I mean, I mean, I mean you know, you, know wow. you got to do what you got to do. Um, so, John is an awesome guy. And before I turn the, the microphone over to him, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about John and what a great guy he is while Kyle is showing you some of his awesome work. Um, so, I met John at G Fest, oh gosh, 2015, I think it was. Yeah. And he did it off immediately. Um, I meet, I responded to his work. Uh, I think it was specifically uh, Mothra versus Godzilla from 64 mm -hmm. uh, image that he did that was just fantastic. Um, we became pretty good friends. You know, he's from Brooklyn. I lived in Brooklyn, you know, bada bing, bada boom, the whole thing. Um, <laughs> My favorite so, poster. Yeah, that's that's a great one. So fast forward to, to G-Fest of 2019. Um, we were talking about Baragon and how Baragon shoots a rainbow, which sort of could be sort of like, you know, represent gay pride because it's the pride rainbow. And he's like, yeah, that'd be cool. Maybe I could do some some kind of an image to to sort of represent that. I'm like, that would be awesome. And we talked about it a little bit, and then you know, time went on, and then it was about what uh, a month before Gay Pride, or a little bit before. Yeah. And I said, hey, John, what's up with that uh, Baragon Pride project that we were talking about? <laughs> oh man, I got to get on that. So he absolutely got on that, and he created this amazing piece. And Kyle, I think you have an image that I. Uh, provided for you of Keith and I wearing two of his shirts uh, with that. You don't have it. It I says Bellotti. That, that, wasn't, that, didn't have, that wasn't in your folder when I downloaded it. It wasn't in my folder. Well, that mm -hmm. sucks. Uh, anyway, it stinks. <laughs> um, uh, it was a beautiful image of Keith and I wearing our Baragon Pride shirts Aww. and they came out wonderful. I'll, I'll post a picture in our group if you guys want to check it. I'll do, I'll do that tomorrow. But anyway, um, that was my story, and it, it, it didn't get to see the image. But anyway, I'm going to pass it over to John and let let him tell you about his artistic uh, journey as as it relates to this Godzilla fandom. So, John, please take oh, it away. I see it now, David. Oh, you see it now. It says <laughs> I Bellotti, see it right? now. Literally <laughs> added today. <laughs> yeah, it was added today. It was added today. All right. So shall we go. shall we check it out before John we takes, the, check it takes out. the floor? Yes, absolutely. There, there we go. And, uh, there go. I I just I just can't thank him it. enough for for doing that for the community. It, I think it sold pretty well. Hopefully, mm -hmm. um, it got a lot of there was a lot of buzz around it when it came out. Um, you know, mainly positive, and um, that's just yeah, the kind yeah. of guy he is. Um, he's just a super cool guy, and. Uh, you know, I love him. So anyway, John, the floor is yours. <laughs> Tell us about you. God, what do I even say to all that? You're way, way too generous. You haven't seen me when I'm hungry or tired. <laughs> yes, I have. You, I totally have. Did you see me angry? <laughs> you saw me angry. Not, not, not angry, but tired and hungry. And, and I took you to, Keith, Keith and I took you to get some vegan donuts. So yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> you did see me impatient. Um, Yes. As you know, yes, I'm a New Yorker, and New Yorkers are naturally impatient. And me, David, and my wife were walking across the bridge in Seattle, and there was a kid behind us on his phone, and he was just walking at our pace like five <laughs> inches away from us. And me, oh, yes, I my wife, and David, are East Coasters, and we're like silently getting angrier and angrier at this kid because he's just <laughs> paying attention, and he's just texting. And then finally, like, we just let him walk behind us. We're like, my God, just move. Just move. <laughs> Anyway, True story. If you, live in New York, if you live in New York, you talk fast, you walk fast. You don't know where you're going, but you got to get there fast. As, mm -hmm. you know, some of you guys know. Um, I don't know what to say, David. I mean, you kind of really embarrassed me with all that really nice stuff. But uh, Oh, stop. Uh, where to begin? I've been drawn since I was a kid. I mean, most of you guys know me in the fandom. Leslie, thank you. My biggest supporters. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support you guys give me. 
David and John, you two in particular, have hooked me up, hooked me up with so much photo reference for my posters, and I can't thank you guys enough. Mm -hmm. I, seriously, <laughs> like my uh, 54 poster was from these amazing posters that uh, pictures that John sent me of his uh, X plus. David, the 62 I did, uh, which I think I sold the drawing of. Uh, that was from your oh, nice. awesome photography. I would see a photo from either of you guys. And yes, Leslie. <laughs> Leslie hooked me up with some great photos too from my Barragon piece. Um, but the, it's kind of deflected on you guys. Uh, you guys inspired me to do a lot of this stuff because I would see your photographs. And it's so clear because, as you know, when you look at these Showa era photographs, they're blurry. You don't know what the heck is going on in them. And I'm like, what am I drawing? I got to make this up. Uh, but then X Plus came out and it's so hyper accurate. And you guys take these amazingly detailed high res photos and I could see the details. I just get lost in them. Uh, so seeing a lot of your photos has inspired a lot of my posters. So it's kind of like a reciprocal thing. And I wish I was making millions on them to give back, but I'm not, but I, um, I've, I've done very well, uh, for myself. And, uh, that's great. That's good to hear. Thank you. For yeah. Saying that. Oh, well it's, you know, it's, it's an honor to draw your fantastic photos to both of you guys. Um, but as you know, I met pretty much all of you at GFest 2015 because I did my Hedora poster. I posted online because I didn't want to pay a certain store money that I thought was a little high for their exclusive poster. And I won't name him because I like him a lot. Uh, so I did this Hedora poster. I posted online and then people really liked it. And it was on Facebook and Ed Holland reached out to me and said, uh, can I publish this in Monster Attack Team? And I'm like, wow. Like, like, what a great, like, first, you know, I guess not like a big break, but it's like, I don't know, uh, I guess it is like a break, right? I mean, it's kind of like a big break getting published right out of the gate. Um, and then I did a, a Mothra piece, which I have now redone because I hated my original Mothra poster. And then uh, a few people said I should sell my artwork at G-Fest. And I didn't know, what, I knew about G-Fest, but what I didn't know was that Artist Alley opened up an hour before the dealer's room. So when I got there, I was like tired and sweaty and I'm trying to set up like 20 minutes before the show. It was like my first convention that I've done since I was like in my twenties and the doors open and it's like, a, a, it's like that scene in like uh, Starship Troopers where all the bugs are just swarming the military <laughs> for the outpost. And I'm like putting my posters out on the table and kids are just buying them. And I'm like, all right guys, no, hold on. And I'm putting on my backdrop and kids are just coming in and pulling. And I, I literally sold out of all my artwork at that show. And I said, okay, I got something here. I don't know what it is, but I got something. And then every show I've done after that, I've done better and better and better up until COVID hit, where my last show was my first New York Comic Con in 2019, wow. um, which was the best show I've ever done uh, personally and financially. Also, oh, thank you. Thank you, homie. I appreciate it. Um, but last year, I sort of switched. Um, oh, thank you, Keith. I, and I love you, Keith. You're amazing. And you and Janine are like, like kismet. You two are just perfect mm -hmm. together. Uh, my opinion is my watch. Uh, me and David are very similar energy, as you can tell, because I'm like constantly True. in motion, and so is David. <laughs> and Jean and Keith are just like relaxed and chill, so they like were perfect, like the perfect like you know distractions for me and David when we would nerd out. Um, anyway, I'm getting off topic here. What the, the heck was I talking about? Oh, so last year I sort of shifted gears because there was no comic book conventions. Uh, and I started doing a lot of commission work. And one of the things I did, obviously, was the pride shirt for David because um, the community, the LGBTQ community, is uh, very close and dear to my heart and my wife's heart and uh, big supporters of the whole community. And if anybody messes with them, they're going to have to talk to me because I have like severe problems with that. Um, oh, you're welcome. Uh, so it was an absolute pleasure to do that. There was a little bit of negativity, but... Thankfully, David and Christine, I think you guys sort of jumped in there on my Instagram feed and we sort of like squashed that. It was just really ugly. Um, but overall, it's we, don't need, we don't need that. Yeah, we don't need that. Yeah, it was no, just, it was just, necessary. no, totally. And I thank you guys for sort of backing Not me up. Not today. On. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> last year, I, I started doing a lot of commissions for um, like in, in the independent comic books. So I have a pinup coming out in a comic book called Tales to Enlighten. I've been doing a lot of header card artwork. I did a Marmot header card for Audrey for Kaiju Live. Um, and I just got, I just got, yes, Alex, of course, Seismic. Seismic. Look, Megadon. This is the Megadon that these guys gifted to me. I love this figure. 
And I did the header course so cool. with them. Yeah, it's awesome. These guys are great. It was my first opportunity to do header card art, and I really appreciate Chris Aglio and Alex from Seismic Toys for giving me that opportunity. Uh, I also did another one for them. Uh, and I recently have a, I have a big announcement. I just got my uh, – I did an officially licensed Aliens poster that's going oh to be – Oh, my God. Dude, congratulations. Wow. Thank you. That's what awesome. Happened? Thank you. That's so cool, John. Yeah, that's it's cute. a really, really huge – deal for me there was a, wow. a, a co it's a company called printed in blood and they do licensed artwork and i submitted for the halloween book but i didn't get in but i posted online anyway and a lot of good artists didn't get in um not that i'm saying i'm a good artist but just a lot of artists just didn't get in but i got into the aliens book and it's going to come out in september and it'll be an officially licensed piece of artwork and when i started this journey of doing godzilla art uh i didn't know what i was doing with it it was just sort of like a side gig but the last couple of years i'm like let me try to take this to like another level, you know, let me just see where I can get with, go with it. Um, and then I always thought my first licensed art would be with Godzilla and I had no idea it would be aliens. Like who would ever think that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, this, but that's pretty cool too, though. I mean, yeah, it's, it it's cool. one of the greatest movies of all time. Like aliens, Absolutely. like seriously, uh -huh. like how, how happy, like could anybody be getting their Amazing. art published? Yeah. Absolutely. So I have some other, things in the works hopefully they work out and if they do you guys will probably go nuts um i can't say what one of them is because the company uh told me not to say anything because it's not official yet so i have a very very good chance of of something happening but i can't say what it is yet so the cool thing about NDAs is you can't say anything but we can guess and you can nod when we're right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone has to keep an eye on your instagram and facebook yeah, just news, keep an man. eye out. Keep an eye out. I don't know when it's going to happen because um, it's the parent company can be a little hard to deal with, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm, I'm doing a. Uh, what did I just do? I did. Uh, I did something for you guys, right? Should we segue? Oh, whoa, that mm -hmm. sounds like a great segue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. segue. Well, I'm trying to go. I'm trying I'm to think standing. of. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the things I did. I. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I've done. It's just so many like little commissions I've done. Michael Farah, I did a commission for him for Kaiju. Oh, Battles. cool. Uh, yeah, just oh, a lot of neat. commissions. Yeah, so a lot of stuff like that. Um, but we can get into the poster, and I'll give a little background to the poster. It was G Fest, I want to say 2019, but correct me if I'm wrong, David and Kyle. It might have been. It. it could have gone as back far back as 2018 because that I, was when we had our very first little that meeting. Wasn't our first downstairs yeah. just the five yeah. of us oh, wow. and yeah. i think yeah. we, we we met john afterwards and we were just kind of throwing like some crazy ideas around and this was one of them and then we yeah. did talk about it again in 2019 so yeah yeah it was at the patio at g fest and we were all a little too <clears throat> and and you told me about collect all monsters and i was like oh cool it sounds awesome and then yeah we talked about me doing a poster and then you guys started up and then i you know, I think I was just like, I think I bugged you guys. I was like, hey, like, do you guys still want to do that poster? Because now it's like I have the time to do the commissions that I, I could never do before because of COVID. So I figured now would be a great time to do it. And, you know, we could uh, we could go right into the poster and the lead up to that if you guys want. So well, I think that was that's amazing. It's amazing. I, it's I amazing. The, before we show anybody anything, I <laughs> think that basically – the, the thing I'd like to say is the the concept that got sort of like floated in my direction was like, what do you, what do we think if John were to do an, a poster image where the collect all monsters mascot is like a real Kaiju attacking and we're on the poster, yes, which that's sounds true. amazing. Yeah. Uh, and, and so we sent it, David pretty much wrangled this whole process. If you want to go, if you want to talk about it, this is an sure. opportunity, sir. Yeah, sure. So um, after the initial G Fest, like just throwing it around, wouldn't that be cool kind of talk, which, you know, sometimes doesn't lead anywhere. Um, even, this is even right before John contacted me to say, oh, oh, should we go through with this, go forward with this? I was having a conversation with Kyle and the rest of the co-host saying, wouldn't it be cool if, you know, I, I found an old, you guys probably know, there's it's in uh, the 1956 poster of Godzilla, King of the Monsters, had exactly what I had envisioned of what 
I wanted John to do for Collect All Monsters. And then I showed it to Kyle. He's like, yeah, that's awesome, dude. And he's like, he he actually tweaked a couple of things and and we we kind of bounced it back and forth with the other co-hosts. And then and then we decided, you know, we should go ahead with it. Um, and then uh, we sent sent John a couple of images, and then John actually actually asked us to do some photographs of us in different <laughs> positions because he needed the references. And that, that that was actually a pretty fun day. We were you know doing our doing our, uh, our our photos, and and you'll see the end result uh, shortly. But um, you know it was first, really really fun. We'll yeah, here's some, here's, some some examples. Examples. <laughs> here's some examples, and. Um, uh, you can imagine what what you're going to see at the end because that poster is like when a, a '50s exploitation <laughs> poster. I know, I do, that, I that, that, to, that one is gold right there. I do. I do want to add that um, the inspiration for Leslie's pose was from the cover of Action Comics number one. Mm. That's right. Oh, oh yeah, the dude in the corner. Yes, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, 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 Leslie has to do that because Leslie, like I've always, yeah, because Leslie, you're so like stoic, and I wanted to see you just like. <laughs> Just something off the walls. <laughs> yeah, it was it was definitely just really fun to see the evolution of John's work, and 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 he would send us updates of you know his progress periodically, and we would just be like, oh my god, I can't wait to see this finished. So and yeah, this is our this is our that mascot. Was exciting and to Kyle, watch. did we decide on a name, or should we? You say and it now, I or? decided on a name. We did. We did. Yes. We did, and it's uh. Oh my gosh! It's Camagon. It's Camagon, with a G. Camagon. With a G. Yes, yes. His name is Camagon, and as far as we both know, there is no ultra monster named Camagon. I mean, there could be. <laughs> I think that's why we're holding off and announcing it. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> is there a Camagon? There, I don't think there is. And uh, he's cool, and he, John. Illustrated. Oh, that's that's <laughs> classic. Um, I was like, get out of here. <laughs> when, when, <laughs> when I first showed when I first showed Keith the images, he really loved Christine. He's like, oh my god, that really looks like Christine. Oh. Like, wait till you see the others. It's like, they all are just know. like it's incredible, John. Yeah. Like how you could wow, like that looks great. like an actual photo. It's crazy. Thanks. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. So his name is Camagon, and um, that's. From here there on it out, is, man. There, there, you have it. there it is. <laughs> poster. There it is. There it is. And it came out really, 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 really awesome. And at first I said, I don't think my beard's actually that gray. And then I'm like, Keith's like, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it soon will be. <laughs> Wait, I hope you didn't get but any migraine here or something. <laughs> it's it's just phenomenal. And as you can see, it's based on the the Godzilla King of the Monsters U.S. release poster, and um, it, it's just phenomenal. It, it exceeded everything that I had envisioned and that we had envisioned, and we're all super stoked to to have our our images <laughs> sort of immortalized on. That's so cool. This poster, or a mug, or a pillow, or a sticker, or a magnet, or anything you can think of, and we'll Pins, talk a little bit about yeah. that that later. <clears throat> Kyle's on fire. He's on fire. <laughs> I can't stop myself. <laughs> so you guys in the – what, what do you guys think in the chat room? Do you guys dig it? All right. So, so in the chat room, I've seen – it's in all its glory from Eric, but he may have been talking about a beard. I'm not really sure. Oh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Booyah. That is a phenomenal, fun concept. Liam right. says he'd love a poster of that. Great news for anybody who wants anything um, mm -hmm. with this image on it. We have basically uploaded uh, this image and some alternate versions of that image to our T Public website. And so you can go on there and actually, um, I'll of course have a link in the show notes to it, but the Banana Hands uh, user, you can go in and find the stuff that we're selling with the poster on it. And uh, let me actually stop the screen share for a second because as soon as this was ready, I uploaded it pretty much. And uh, I even, you know, I took some some liberties as an illustrator to deal with some things that wouldn't take a poster image so well. So I have some awesome news that I showed these guys right at the beginning of the episode. And that is that I uh, received my brand new Collect All Monsters. <laughs> 
Oh, oh so my fast. god. <laughs> Oh, so that? basically, wow. yeah. So this, I so I modified the design oh God, that's great. with all the parts on it, so that it goes all the way Perfect. around the mug. Oh, nice! Cheers. Was that from T Public? Was that? Yeah, it's from T Public. That's from T Public, right? Yeah, public. yeah, that's from T Public. Yeah. Yeah, that's the. You know, I sell my work there, and it, it's sometimes like it looks cool on a shirt, and then when it goes onto like a mug or a pillow, yeah. it's like. And I like my files are so big, I just don't have the patience to sit there and like mm. futz with them. So I'm like, if someone likes it, they'll buy a mug, but they probably won't. So <laughs> I just <laughs> I try to keep it like straight up for the t shirts, you know? Mm -hmm. well, but it looks, I, it looks oh, great. Yeah. Everything looks great. Um, the I way love Kyle it. sort of, sort of uh, man manipulated it to, to fit onto the certain, you know, things that, that are for sale. All and, the way. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's wrapped up. That that was cool. I I love the way that that turned out. And look, you guys can have uh, your morning coffee with us every morning. I mean, that's right. On. That's right. <laughs> right. Right. Get, it's hot. We no, got it's super. What was that, John? Super stoked we have this. I was going to say um, the file when I when I drew you, I used these new brushes. I was telling you about it, Kyle. Mm -hmm. And uh, it went really fast. But the problem was Kyle and David's beards. They were so detailed and I was so excited to draw beards. So I don't really draw bearded men all that often. No offense. I just <laughs> always draw monsters or martial artists. Um none taken. Oh good. So I had to make custom brushes for both of you guys. For you, Kyle, I had to make your own and David has his own custom brush. Wow. And when I drew Leslie, I don't know why, but I must have put so much detail in there that it was slowing down my tablet so much. Wow. Oh. When I tried to put all of them in all yes, the Keith. images together, it was like, it was like Illustrator does not have enough memory. Like it kept like stopping. So I had to resave it all as like PNG files and put them all into like wow. the poster image together. Leslie broke it. <laughs> <laughs> well, when, you, when you're perfection, you can break things. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's true. It's gorgeous. People, people are loving it, John. Yeah, I know. That's great yeah, feedback from the live viewers. Oh, that's amazing. That's, that's My exciting. parents want a poster now. I can't wait to get like a huge one to like hang. Actually, probably back here somewhere I'll put it for the show. I just I love it. Awesome. I ordered a shirt for Keith and a shirt for myself and a pillow for my ass when I'm doing the show. So <laughs> it's going to be perfect. <laughs> that's a good idea, actually. I did. I did want to. Yeah, I mean, I did want to say something though about um, Camagon. Uh, <laughs> we spoke about it, and we. I agree that you guys should definitely make a Sofubi out of that that character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, see your Patreon rewards, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. If you, remember, oh, yeah, yeah. if you remember when we were talking about how I was going to draw it, I drew you guys as realistic, and I said, "Well, how do we want to do the monster?" And Kyle said, "It should be like a Sofubi come to life," and I said. That would be, and I'm like, how the heck am I going to draw plastic? And I had to like figure it out. <laughs> um, but then when I looked at it, it looks really cool. You guys should really think about doing a Sofubi. You know, maybe talk to Alex of Seismic about it. Oh, uh, there you go. It. Yeah, it's it's great. And you know, John was was asking us what colors you know would be great for it. And you know, Kyle I think said you know sort of like original Bullmark colors would be mm -hmm. would be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, there was more green in it. And then I said, no, because it looked like too much like holiday. Yeah. So we kind of changed the green to blue. And here's the end result. And I think it came out phenomenal. It yeah. could, couldn't, Can't it go couldn't be blue. any better. It's it's just amazing. And yeah, yeah. Kyle is definitely on fire. He really is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Poor Kyle sacrificed himself. <laughs> well, you know, it's awesome. That's, it's it's that's just so mean. fun. It's just, just so a fun. martyr. <laughs> so much fun. No, it was a fun it, it, collaboration with you guys. I really enjoyed doing it. I really did. Well, well yeah, it was we love that you did it. And we we wouldn't want anyone yes. else to have done thank it. You so, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, you. Thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <clears throat> so uh, thank you guys oh, again. Thank you. Your uh, your website oh. got mentioned, John, and I definitely wanted to make sure that we mention your website. You can go to Robo Seven. For John's uh, artistic website, where he's got all sorts of goodness up there. Mm -hmm. And I want to add yes. that John Ruffin designed my website. Oh, nice. Very so, nice, John. Thank you, John. It looks incredible. 
Bless you, as man. I mentioned before, it's a great community we have here, people. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, John. Yeah. John. Yeah, I just love your art. It's bright, colorful. Oh, like, yeah, oh, it's my favorite. John John can even make Final Wars look like a good movie. Okay. Like, I don't know. <laughs> That's <laughs> real talent right there. Yeah. That, man. Man. <laughs> talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Are you so let's see. We're we're currently at an hour and forty here on the episode. Wow. Uh, John, thank you so much for being here for this particular segment. It was awesome talking to you. First up, I want to say I am in love with this print, and uh, I'm thank stoked you. that I have my mug, but my T-shirt with the poster images oh, is, is on its sweet. way as well, just to get here in time. Yeah. And uh, and uh, please like go out, check the show notes, go to the Banana Hands user, and check out all the different stuff that we put this on there's basically uh, everything from mugs and t-shirts to prints and stickers and magnets and it's a whole bunch of different stuff so go check that out when you have a second uh i would actually load it up if i had the url at my fingertips but i don't what i will do because i do have this at my fingertips i do have a giveaway tool available to me and so basically what we're doing right now is we are going to go into our intermission but before we go into the intermission, it's time to talk about the live giveaway. We are going to be giving away one canvas poster print. I don't know how to say that. Canvas David, print. is that how you how do you describe it? Yeah, it's a print canvas print. A canvas? Yeah, canvas print. Awesome. Yes. So we're going to be doing that uh, live giveaway right now, basically. It's, so when we hit the intermission video, that's when we need you guys to go into the comments and just put in the hashtag, I want it, all in one <laughs> word there. You put that in if you want this poster, and the tool will automatically grab your names. And uh, and when we come back, we'll actually run it, share it live, and That's you know make sure that StreamYard is making everybody, <laughs> making everything fair. Uh, but now, anyway, Keith, once Keith, again, I want to. What's that? Okay, oh yeah, Keith is exempt. Yes, and, and Ryan, <laughs> Ryan Mitchell and Robert Dwyer. If you don't want it, don't say I want it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> just put that out there. Just put that out there. Anyway, well, this is a, a great opportunity for us to say thank you once again to John Bellotti, not just for showing yes, up thank to you be so on much. the show, but for doing this incredible artwork for us. I can't wait to see images of this out there in the wild. Yes, you're welcome, guys. Yes. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay. Well, having said that, we'll go ahead and kick off our intermission and we'll be back in like three and a half minutes. Go Enjoy. Let's go.